so after the function of the muscles now the only thing that is left which you have to know is the names of the muscles okay so i will show you these muscles later on but for now just write down the names so here compartment of leg compartment of leg is mainly divided into three parts right what are the three parts guys so one you co already called it as an anterior compartment right another one you called it as a posterior compartment anterior okay posterior okay next compartment is your lateral compartment so three compartments here anterior posterior anterior posterior as well as lateral now which compartment is having again two more compartments like superficial and deep that is a posterior compartment so posterior compartment is in turn having two other compartments okay so what are those two other compartments we have got something called as superficial we have got something called as deep okay so we have got something called as a superficial compartment we have got something called as a deep compartment okay now first of all let us look at what are the muscles that are located in the anterior compartment so the first important muscle the muscle that is located anterior to tibia is called anterior tibial muscle okay so before before i show those let me draw and then i will write it it will be easy for you in that way to grasp it okay so let us say this is the leg part this is the medial malleolus this is the lateral malleolus and this is the foot okay so one two three four and five okay now all of you look here so there is a muscle that is exactly present anterior to tibia this is called as anterior tibial muscle okay the next important muscle is this is coming all the way down this is anterior group muscle and it is attached to the thumb right and by the way always and always remember the the muscles which are located on the anterior compartment of the thigh are extensors or dorsiflexors okay extensors are dorsiflexors keep this thing in mind they are dorsiflexors because i already told you why they are extensors because the upper limb is opposite of lower limb in upper limb in this ventral position all this whatever muscles you can see here these are flexors piche jo hai they are extensors but in the lower limb whatever you can see in the front are extensors piche flexors so it is opposite there okay so here this muscle will technically you should call it as extensor only right so this muscle is an extensor muscle okay let me yeah this muscle is an extensor muscle extensor and where it is attached to the thumb or to the toe it is attached to the toe so toe is called pollex or hollex it is called hollex so extensor hollux is and the tendon is very long so longus extensor hollux is longus simply called as e h l extensor hollux is longus next important muscle is also an extensor muscle which is coming down all the way like this and this muscle is this muscle is inserted into your digits like this okay so if this muscle is getting inserted to the digits this is an extensor muscle attached to digits so digitorum and again this muscle tendons are also long so longus so write it as edl extensor digitorum longus and finally we have got a last muscle right near the lateral malleolus this is called as peroneus tertius okay peroneus tertius so this is called as peroneus tertius one very important thing you need to know peroneus matlab see lateral okay peroneal compartment is lateral compartment that is why here also we have written lateral compartment in lateral compartment is called as peroneal compartment this yellow color shaded area is a lateral compartment is called peroneal compartment that is why the artery there is called peroneal artery the nerve there is called peroneal nerve and the muscles there are also called as peroneal muscles so peroneal matlab lateral here okay if peroneal word is there that is a lateral so then why did you why did you write peroneus tertius in the anterior it should be in the lateral actually this peroneus tertius is present in the lateral compartment only so exactly near anterior lateral let us say this is anterior compartment and this is lateral compartment exactly on the border here you have got that muzzle on the on the two hands meeting at this point right 
this is anterior this is lateral so exactly the place where they are meeting here exactly you have this muscle that is why you call it as peroneus tertius okay right so anterior compartment muscles are done what are anterior compartment muscles one is called as tibial tibialis anterior okay and the second one is extensor hollicis longus extensor hollicis longus third important thing is extensor digitorum longus right and fourth important thing is peroneus tertius this is called as peroneus tertius so these are the important things which you need to know now apart from this let us look at the lateral group and then finally we'll go for the posterior group so let us look at the lateral group now so lateral group muscles are in this way right like this for example let us say there is a muscle that is coming all the way down like this and there is another muscle that is going like this now out of these two which muscle is let me use another color now out of these two which muscle is long the red one is long right and uh, this muscle which are located in the lateral compartment muscles which are located in the lateral compartment should be called as what peroneus muscles lateral compartment right so this muscle is long and this muscle is short so the longer muscle is called longus shorter muscle is called brevis and these are the muscles of lateral compartment or also called as peroneal compartment so what is that long muscle called as peroneus longus short muscle is called as peroneus brevis so we have got peroneus longus we have got peroneus brevis and the third muscle is tertius what is the third peroneal muscle tertius tertius matlab third tertius word stands for third so first is peroneus longus second is peroneus brevis third is peroneus tertius which is lying in the anterior compartment so these are the muscles which are located in the lateral compartment so lateral compartment muscles the first important thing is peroneus longus okay and the second important thing is peroneus brevis okay now in the posterior compartment i told you we have got superficial and deep so how do you remember this superficial muscles remember it by the mnemonic gossip gsp is gossip okay so what is this gossip g stands for gastrocnemius g stands for gastrocnemius muscle we already discussed gastrocnemius is having two heads lateral head and medial head right and s stands for soleus s stands for soleus and p stands for plantaris okay you know plantaris muscle has got a very long tendon and these tendons are useful for grafting surgeries so this is a very important point that plantaris tendons are used for grafting surgery for grafting not only plantaris even along with the plantaris in the upper limb you have got palmaris longus you know palmaris longus also even these tendons are also along with the plantaris tendons they are useful for grafting surgeries this is very very important point guys so gsp stands for what gastrocnemius soleus as well as plantaris now when it comes to deep muscles so what are the deep muscles which you need to know opposite of anterior compartment is posterior compartment then anterior compartment muscles jitne bhi hai the opposite will be the deep for example the first muscle is tibialis anterior then in the posterior compartment it will become very good tibialis posterior tibialis posterior okay second here it is extensor hollicis longus then here it will become flexor hollicis longus okay third extensor digitorum longus here it will become flexor digitorum longus and fourth muscle is popliteus popliteus so guys these uh, group of muscles which you have seen in the anterior right in the posterior as well as in the posterior as well as in the lateral compartment these are of utmost important guys very 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 important muscles here okay so there is something called as triceps suri you know it so all the muscles have got a common tendon which is attached down to the calcaneus right so triceps suri is this so gastrocnemius soleus plantaris together you call them as triceps suri just remember it why i'll tell in detail later on okay 
so this is named as triceps suri okay these three muscles together are called as triceps suri